could see Sean Strickland in a high level boxing match. Sean Strickland's pretty good. He's Did you see Sean Strickland good. with that gun the other How day? How crazy is he? Dude. <laughs> We were saying that karma brought that dude to Sean Strickland. I mean, Sean that dude Str- had apparently beat up a woman and then drove drunk, crashed his car, abandoned his car, and was hiding in Sean Strickland's driveway. Of all the driveways to get stuck in, it's perfect. You end up Sean Strickland's driveway, and then Sean's like <laughs> pushing him down. Sean, like, <laughs> this poor bastard. Look at this guy. He's trying not, and he's texting. Yeah, he's hiding in text. I think he's calling an Uber. Oh my gosh. Sean walks out there. Organs in his rib. I wonder what the guy was like. I wonder what he was thinking. Like, who oh is this God. guy with he the gun? Shredded the fucking wheel of his car. He was beating up a woman, and ended up in Sean's driveway. Mm, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Part of the wrestling dude. Remember the wrestling dude that was on crack and tried to break into Anthony Smith's house. Oh, yeah. Anthony Smith just beat the shit out of him. <laughs> <laughs> so crazy. Dude. So crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, some people make some unfortunate decisions. They just make mistakes. I was watch- we were watching a video the other day of a guy who tried to break into a gun store. Uh, why would you break into a gun store? <laughs> That's just idiotic. He's trying to rob a gun store. He's got two pistols. He, he, he <laughs> moves into the gun store like this, and they just gun him down. Like they killed instantly. him. Instantly. He's an idiot. Why would you rob a gun store? It's drugs, <sighs> though. It has to be drugs. He got to be on some sort of drug or like not like in your wanted, right mind. They wanted more guns, and they thought this is the way to get guns. Go rob the gun store. Yeah, that's absurd. You want more guns? I don't think they're thinking well. No, they're not. They're probably on drugs themselves. They got. This is it. Watch this. These guys come in. They hold guns up. That makes no sense. Boom. Oh, he's done. That was fast. Yeah. He's done. Oh, look at this dude. Yeah, that dude's trained. That is crazy. That dude's trained. He walked in. Yeah. He walked in with a gun to try to rob a gun store. Yeah, this is crazy. So the guys walk in. He hears it. Draws. Boom. Yeah, the guy behind the guy behind the uh, the the counter here, the old man with the with the gray hair, he immediately reached for his his piece and he yeah. he hit him hard. He hit him right where he had to hit him. Look at the guy just fall backwards. He didn't shoot him in the leg. He didn't shoot him. Yeah, that's bad, man. Some people out there making some stupid, stupid decisions. Stupid. I mean, why would you do that? Why would you do that? I saw a video today on Twitter because I was in the middle. Of, I was in this fighter meeting, and. Uh, I don't know. They were just kind of having a conversation like they were done talking about the fight. So I kind of got on my phone. And I started playing on Twitter. And I was watching that another what website I watch. It's called Morbid Knowledge. Oh, dude. What is this one? Bro, Morbid Knowledge. <laughs> it's crazy. Bro. I'm, I'm fucked up, Joe. Like, I, I get bored. And I just popped up on my Twitter. And there were two airplanes. They were These people were, like, jumping out of the plane. The planes crashed. You can hear somebody go, "Oh no!" And then they fall off the uh, off the uh, wing wing, but they're all wearing parachutes because they were gonna go and, and jump. But I mean, these two planes came together, and then hearing a the person go, "Oh no," was crazy. But morbid knowledge is nuts. It's like it says, like it'll show like an X-ray of a person that might have gotten into a bad accident or something. It, it showed a, a picture one time, Joe. Of a person whose body, they x-rayed the body when they had been hit by a train. Oh. Dude, it was crazy. The rib cage and everything, Joe, was, oh. it was crazy. I don't know where it popped up on my thing, but once I saw it, I was like, oh, man. I, dude, they got a guy. They had a guy back in, like, the 30s. Bro, he was a big cat hunter. That was a bad son of a gun. And he was hunting with those old school guns. You know those old school guns? Right. where, Dude, this dude, they had, like, a fucking lion or a cheetah was just killing people in this village in Africa or in England. I mean, they were ki- it was killing. It was a man eater. It's called the man eater of something. So this guy would hunt. They brought this old dude from Europe down there to track this this animal. This dude tracked this animal between three different like cities in this area and finally got that son of a gun because he shot it and it was trying to attack him to kill him. He was running out of bullets. It sounded like a movie. 
But it had his whole story. Morbid knowledge, I'm telling you. Whoa. Go listen to it. Like, look at it. Some of it's kind of gross, but some of it's, like, pretty intriguing. Like, Isn't that one that what that movie was based on, The Ghost in the Darkness? Oh, my God. Did you see that? That's a great movie. What a crazy movie. That's a great movie, man. There's but, nothing scarier than lions <laughs> hunting oh, people. Oh, my God. Just a lion waiting I can't, for him. I, can't, I, I watch them even if they're a little bit, like, corny because oh. I'm like, oh, this is crazy. That's what it was oh. called. Yeah. It's that that's the exact movie it's that was, based uh, on it. Val Kilmer and Michael Douglas, right? Yeah. It's based on that guy's story. Yeah. But dude, like you watch like these like there's some of these sites like like that other one that I said Nature's Metal. Mm -hmm. It'll show an eagle just floating. And it'll just fucking swoop down and grab some shit. And it don't matter what it is. If that eagle decides that it wants to eat that thing, it's going to take it. Dog pig and squirrel and it just rips it apart eagles are like so sick yeah in terms of an animal they fly above you they decide what they're gonna take and they just take it yeah, they pull salmon out of the river they pull salmon out of the river how do they see it? with the, they, they see the, the reflection catch the, the little body challenge <laughs> and they just pull them up yeah and they just rip you apart it's a weird animal to have as our national animal it's it's because it's a ruthless. Raptor. It's a ruthless. It's a ki it's a killer. It's a killer. But man. it looks majestic. Oh, it does. Oh, it looks so good. I'm like, dude. Yeah. But it fucks you up. Have you ever seen harpy eagles? No. What is that? Harpy eagles are, live in South America, and they eat sloths and monkeys. Really? They're fucking giant. They're big. They're huge. See if you can find them. A sl what is it called? I think it's called a harpy eagle. Harpy eagle. Am I saying it wrong? It is, Jeez. right? It's this giant white looking eagle that there's all these videos of them swooping down and snatching these sloths. Because these poor sloths, <laughs> they can't fucking look at this. Oh, look at, look this, at this thing. Look at his face. He's got crazy feathers <laughs> on his head. <laughs> look at those talons. Yeah. See if there, there's any. Yeah, that's what they look like. God, that thing's huge. See if there's any footage of them snatching somebody. Yeah, oh, there it is. Because that's all Look they at do. that sloth. They swoop in and, and snatch sloths. <laughs> oh, my God. How? What, what a fucking mismatch. It's called Death from Above. I was trying to find a video. I found. I saw a video on Twitter of an eagle carrying a squirrel, and it drops it, and it swoops down and catches it. before. It in the air before it, it fell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. It was sick. I can't, I'm trying to find it right <laughs> now. Dude, I'm telling you. I watch crazy. I watch stuff like that. Because, I mean, you know, when you're just sitting around and... You know, when you finally get a moment, right, and you grab your phone, some weird shit pops up there, and then you're just stuck. Yeah. And next thing you know, you've passed 30 minutes watching just crazy-ass videos. Watching eagle videos. Eagle videos. <laughs> lions. 